take my persistence because being told two different times there's nothing more we can do for you is not it wasn't acceptable to me. Don't give up. That's the advice from one Hurricane Harvey survivor who lost a lot more than just her home in the storm. Good evening. I'm Drew Spire. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Sonia Hill, and that's where we're going to start tonight. It's been a wait and see game for many people who are trying to get help from FEMA and other agencies. That's right. In fact, for one Rockport resident, finding a permanent home while planning a funeral has caused her some emotional pain. But as Action 10's Marisol Gonzalez found out, FEMA came through just in time for Thanksgiving. You took the words right out of my <laughs> mouth. Seriously, Drew. Christina Rhodes contacted us this week to share her story about the help she wasn't getting despite losing her husband the night of the storm. Now she hopes her story will inspire others to have hope. They said that they had some female RVs and a female RV park that I was, you know, on the list as being eligible for one. The good news came the day before Thanksgiving. Christina Rhodes had been waiting for this call since Hurricane Harvey wreaked havoc in Rockport. I am extremely surprised and I'm extremely thankful. But you, let me ask you, mm -hmm. do you think your persistence is what? Yes, I think my persistence because being told two different times there's nothing more we can do for you is not it wasn't acceptable to me. Rhodes says these past months have been a whirlwind of emotions. She's not only lost a home during Hurricane Harvey, but her husband. Arthur Adams was the first confirmed death in Rockport. According to officials, he passed away in a house fire. How, how difficult is it to see pictures at this point? It's very hard. I mean, I certainly don't want to pack them away. After the storm, Rhodes is now raising their child alone. She's disabled and can't work, forcing her to rely on government assistance like FEMA. For 30 days now, I have been trying to explain to them that I cannot find a place that will accept me. I have nowhere to live. I am about to be on the streets with my son. Road says for those still waiting, the process is slow and painful. But don't give up. Seek help at every available avenue. Don't lose hope. Do not lose hope, just be persistent and keep on keeping on and live it day to day. Or to live by, well, Rose is expected to get the keys to her RV today. She hopes this will give her the chance to mourn her husband's death. Guys, back to you. 